Welcome, you're here to uh, try another project. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Today we've got a new part. Looks like this. And it is called a one digit seven segment display. And it's called one digit because we'll be displaying one digit. The seven segments are, uh, the face here is broken down into seven LEDs. Technically, there's eight because there's a dot right over here in the corner, decimal point, but they call it a seven segment. So we're going to see if we can get some numbers to appear up here and do some counting on this little display. So let's switch views. And that'll work. So I've got this up just temporarily. I wanted to, to show you something. You're going to want to look at this. I'm going to need to look at it while we're wiring things up. So here's a close-up of this part and all the wires and they're, they're labeled. And we got some that we're already familiar with. The, the two negatives, are, that's going to go to ground. So we need two ground wires. And we're going to send, we're going to use a, um, a 330 ohm resistor in between these wires. And we're going to work our way to ground. We'll start with that. Then you'll notice that we've got these letters, and these of course correspond to these seven segments, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have to be kind of careful as we wire it to make sure our code has the same letters that you know match the same wires. And we're gonna leave this up in the corner here just so I can see it while I am wiring this up. I may need to move it around just a little bit, but that'll be good for right now. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to place this into my breadboard. I'm going to have the, uh, got to be careful, um, the little decimal point here, the DP, it's actually is labeled up here, the DP pin. Actually, I'm not going to worry about that one. We want to make sure that one is in our, our corner, it's right above my finger. So that'll work nicely. I don't want to get this thing upside down. And then let's move it down like that. In my code, as we label our pins, I'm going to add a wire. So the ground wire doesn't need anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add that first. And according to the, the uh, sketch, actually let me pull this out just for a second. Before I push it in there, you'll notice there are five wires at the top, five wires at the bottom. That corresponds to these five wires here, and of course the five at the bottom. So let's put this back in. Move it down one. So I'm going to start with the ground, which is the middle in there, and I'm going to do the same thing at the top. So I got my two ground wires in, and then Let's send them way over here. Can't even see where I've been going. Try to get the nested wires out of the way. I'm going to make, oh, we need our resistor in there. Here's my resistor. And let's put these right over here. It looks fine. Pick some row. We're going to run. This will help us from not damaging our display here. So we'll run both our grounds through this resistor and off to this rail. So that looks pretty good. It's all in the same row. We're going to use this upper row, the blue one, as our ground. So I've got to send that over to the Arduino. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go way over here. And then we're going to hop over to the Arduino. And we've got that in ground. That looks good. And then let's systematically work our way across the top and then across the bottom. So we'll start with, I've got a yellow one here. Doesn't matter which color we use. Just gonna start right over there. And I gotta look over my drawing, or not mine, there's an illustration I found online. That's G. So G's gonna light up this one right here. For now, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna come over here and 
declare a variable. We're going to call it g. And we're going to say g equals, what pin are we going to put in? Actually, I'm going to switch this one. I'm going to do a longer wire on that side. Get some real long ones. So they won't be in the way. And I'll do the shorter ones on the, the same side. So I'm going to, so I can see the display really well. So I'm going to the upper one up in the corner there. I'm going to move this down a little bit. So we're doing G. And G, we're going to swing around. And let's have it start all the way at 2. So I put it all the way into 2. So G is going to equal, going back to the code, it's going to equal 2. And let's continue this process. Go to F equals, let's do another long one. This one looks pretty good. This one, we're going to swing around and put it in 3. And that is F is 3. And then we're going to go skip the uh, ground wire. We've already taken care of that. We're going to go to A. I'm going to run out of wires. I'm going to hunt for some wires here. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, here's some hiding. I'm going to grab these. Off to the side here. Oh, I plugged into a. Oh, I just tore that wire up. <laughs> nice. Okay, snagged a couple more. So let's go to the next one over. That one, according to our illustration, is A right there. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it into pin 4, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to go to my code. A is going to equal. Now we're, let's see, we got one more. We got B. Just, I tore the head off of that wire. I'm going to toss it. Let's go to the next one over, the last one at the top. We'll figure out a way to pull these over out of the way in, in a minute. And we're going to send this one to 5. So B equals 5. Now, of course, I can pick any pin I want. I'm just working my way up from 2 and just working my way across the top of this illustration. Now we're going to go to the bottom half of it. We're going to do E, D, C, and not worry about D, P, the decimal point. So we're going to go back over to here. And that's E. We're going to make that be pin 6. So back to our code. Data type E is going to be 6. The next one is D. Just wire that one up. That one is going to be 7. Getting a little crowded there. 7 for that one. Now we got C is going to be C is going to be eight. All right. So do a little view here. We went from two over to eight, and then I wired them across the top, went to the bottom, and across the bottom, using my little illustration I've got over here. I gotta finish this up. So C was eight. We're not gonna worry about the decimal place. All right, that looks good. Wiring is all done. So we can just leave this off to the side here. Let just sit there. Move a little some of the wires back so we can see the display a little better. Okay, next thing we got to do is get rid of some of this stuff. That message. Got a lot of pin modes to do. We have to go through each pin to have it be an output. So we're going to have to do 2 all the way up through 8. So I will type those in. We got to tell the Arduino that expect 
to send something out of those pins. And there's nothing really fancy about this display. It's actually just a bunch of LEDs embedded into this little brick here. And we're going to be controlling each one. in order to uh, make a certain picture. Of course, in our case, it's going to be numbers. And seven. One more here. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to move that over. Okay, there's nothing to look at this time around. We don't need a serial monitor, so we're going to skip that. Let's get rid of that message. And, and now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to set up little, instead of, we're going to define what each of these numbers, 1 through 0 through 9, with a different function. And then we're going to, so we can call them up when we want to. And that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let me just explain it as we're doing it. And I think it'll make a lot more sense. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it 1. And of course, it's going to be for causing a 1 to appear on our display. So when we go to our loop, we're going to have a 1 to appear. I guess I should start out with 0. You don't want to skip 0. I suppose we could skip 0 if we wanted to, but let's do 0 and 1. Now under the void loop, we're going to make our own little void functions. And this one, we're going to call it 0. And then we're going to tell the uh, Arduino what a 0 looks like. And then we'll do the same thing for a 1, and then we'll do the same thing for a 2, and so on. So we're going to organize our work a little bit nicer for this. So we got a separate little function going on. It's called zero and when loop sees this, this is the call up for it. It's going to say, okay, where is this thing? Where is this procedure? It's going to jump down here and then make a, a one. Now to make no, a zero, excuse me, now to make a zero, of course we need to have F, A, B, C, D, and E on. Everything needs to be on except G. So we've got to go ahead and tell it to do that. Digital Oop, hit cat lock, cat lock, I think I did. Okay, so we're going to tell each one of those to turn on. Let me move this over slightly. So I need to have A go on. So when I'm making the number zero, I got to have certain LEDs go on. And right now I'm going to turn them on. Digital right, we need the uh, F to go on. And sorry, my voice is a little weird right now. <clears throat> Let me get a little drink of water. We have B go on. And we need to have, we'll raise this up. We've got an E, D, and C. So we're going to do E, D, and C. All right, each of those got to have to go on. And let's make a little timer out of this. We'll have a little delay in between each of one second. Then of course what we have to do, we have to turn them all off. But we're going to speed this process up, do a little copy paste, and these have to turn to low, which I can speed that up by copy paste. So there's no 
code in here that you haven't seen before. It's a little bit different layout to take to manage. Let's do a do a delay here. All right. So when we call this up, this void zero up is going to turn these LEDs on, which correspond to the LEDs we see in this illustration, which correspond to the wiring we did. So we're going to turn certain ones off, excuse me, on for a second, and then we'll turn them all back off. And then that'll happen when we hit zero. When it goes to the loop and it sees this, it's going to, hey, what is zero? Let's jump down to there, and then we're going to run this little zero section. Then when it gets to the bottom of this, it'll jump back to the void loop right where it left off, and it'll go to the next one. And it'll look for the one. Let's test this out. I'm going to upload this. They're not plugged in, so... Uh, cable somewhere. Here's one. Plug that in here. Plug the other end in the computer. Come on, I got one spot open. Let's flip this around. Oh, it's been a little bear here. It's been a little bear. I can't see. You got all these cables coming out. It's got to go in this way. Sorry about this. It's got all these cables. Oh, it's got to go in that one. Well, we're going to pull another one out. So let me find one that I can remove and not have it. Yeah, that one's hooked to my camera. Where is it? No, that one's just... Hey, oh, that is my camera one. And what's this other one? This one is doing nothing. Okay, so we're going to pull that one out. Gently remove that out of the way. And then put this one back in. Yay! All right. That's blocking. What's blocking? Here we go. Now, I don't know why I've got a couple of lights going on. I must have a different program in here. But let's go ahead and upload what I've got now. And see if we can get a zero to appear. Again, we're going to this loop. If we go from the top, we've just decreted all these variables. We told all these pins to be outputs. When you jump into the loop, it's saying, okay, find this procedure and go ahead and, and and do what it says. So it jumps down here and makes all these high and then makes all these others and for one second they stay high and then they turns them all off after that. And since there's nothing else to do after that, it's just going to keep repeating this zero. So this is a nice way to organize our work. Upload error. I should have switched this. We are Uno, the port. I did not select the port, so let's give it another try. Squeeze the uh, cat for good luck here. Uploading, done. And there's our zero. Flashing on and off. Nice. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, bring back the one. And we're going to make another little function. And we're going to call it void one. And inside of this one, we're going to be making a one on our display. So to make a one, we're going to need to have B and C on. A zero is a hard one because we had, well, eight's going to be the hardest because we require all of them to be on. B's not so bad. We just need B and C. So if we do some surgical cut and paste here above if we grab two of them got to go on and then we're going to the same two are going to go off again I'm going to copy this little segment out so I don't have to type that stuff in again I got to make sure I have the right ones going on I need B and C and we've got D and C so I don't want D and C going on I want B and C so I'm going to turn those two LEDs on we're going to wait a second, then I want the B and C, B and C to go off. 
and then we're going to need a delay. And so now it's going to match exactly what we did up here, except we turn different ones on. We should see a one up here on our display. Let's take a look at that. Kind of test these as we go. Let's do one more together. Wait a moment for it to upload. And it's done. There it is. We got a zero and we've got a one. Nice. I don't know if that's exactly one second between the two. Let's not worry about that. It looks pretty good. Let's do one more. So let's do a let's do a two. So it's going to do this first, then this, then this. It's going to jump down and look for a void two. And this time around, what do we need to make a two? We need to have, we need to have, A, B, G, E, D. Is that what we need? Does that look like a two on there? If I do A, B, G, E, and D, that doesn't look like a two. I guess that is going to have to be our two. That looks like a, a normal two, though, for this kind of display. A, B, G, E, and D. And we don't need them in that order. We just got to make sure we grab all of those. One, two, one, two, three, four, five of them. So that's the same number. One, two, three, four, five. We almost need all of these. So send me some copy, some typing. I'm going to grab all of those in the middle. I'll do delay at the end. Don't forget the delay. Now I've got to get the right letters in here. Let's just go through one at a time. We needed the, uh, I'm looking over here again at my numbers here, or my letters here. We need the A. I don't see an A up here. I'm just going to work them down. A, we need the B. We, whoop, I already got a B. That's fine, though. We're going to do the G, then the E, and then the D. All right, so those are all the letters we need. Let's make sure these are the same. B. G E D. Okay. A B G E D. That looks pretty good. Let's upload that and then we should see zero, one, and a two. We didn't get it right. There's a one. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Zero, one, and a two. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so what you're going to have to do, and you won't know this unless you listen to it all the way to the end of the video, but I guess I'll type it in the canvas, is I want you to count up from zero all the way to nine. You're going to count it from zero to nine, just like we did. And you notice once we got started with zero to make a two, it didn't take more than, what, 15 seconds, 10 seconds to copy and paste that in there, change the letters. So it did not take very long at all. The first one, zero took a while, but the rest did not take very long. So when you have me come over to check your work, I'm going to look down at this display and I want to see zero counting up through nine. And then um, it'll automatically start back to zero again. So we should see zero, one, two, all the way to nine. Seems simple enough. So go ahead and give that a try. And I'll see you in the next project.